We just arrived to the Tube Century Airport. I'm hungry. But beforehand, let's explore the airport a little bit. By the way, this is the place that you will arrive when you get here. International arrival exit. There is a money exchanger. Oh, interesting. Prepaid SIM card. <laughs> well, a little bit expensive though. But uh, it's my first time to see this kind of vending machine. Nice. Oh, I didn't know that. You can buy the JR Pass over here too. JR Pass is a train ticket that you can have really good discount. Only foreign travelers can buy, for locals cannot. Well, if you are traveling to Japan, I strongly recommend to get one. Well, I'm a local, so I can't buy it. Yeah, but if I were a traveler, definitely I will get one. And now we get to the main floor. Oh my goodness. It's been a while. I miss here. As you can see, there are ninjas. Well, Tube area is specialized for samurai and the ninja. This year I will travel to Hida festival, but last year I was here and enjoy the samurai and the ninja culture. If you haven't, please don't forget to check this video too. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senoka. All right, so let's keep walking. Before going to the restaurant, let's explore the Tube souvenir stores. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that you can buy akafuku here. I thought only we can buy it at the Mia Prefecture. It's a mochi with sweet ribbon paste. Tastes pretty sweet. <laughs> One thing you have to be careful is that uh, it will be expired in three days. <laughs> so you have to eat it quick. Oh, it's yukari shrimp cracker. Really popular souvenir too. Price is 1,620 Japanese yen. <laughs> Look at that, they have a Halloween version too. Sweet. Oh, that's Uido, Uido. For me, this is the most popular souvenir from Nagoya. It's like mochi, but sweet. Oh, look at this Uido bar. Price is 756 Japanese yen. My first time to see that. It's perfect with green tea. They have so many different kinds of taste. Oh my goodness, look at this! It must be good! The shrimp and also sweet shrimp too! Shrimp cracker! Price is 5,940 Japanese yen. Fancy! But it must be good though! We will eat Hitsumabushi, so maybe next time! Yep, but looking pretty good! Nice! Ebizukushi! Ebizukushi! Oh my goodness, that's so cute! It's a Halloween section! Yes, Halloween is coming! <laughs> they have a seasonal souvenir too! Loving it! Oh, look at this chocolate! Sweet! Yep, Nagoya is really popular for Tebasaki, which is a chicken wing. I didn't know that they have a souvenir version too. Oh my goodness, look at this curry! It's a Hidagyu curry! Price is 988 Japanese yen? Yep, they use the fancy meat. Looking pretty good. But you know what? We will eat the Hida beef tomorrow. So, not yet. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's Kubota Manju. It was super expensive when I was in America. Price is 4,385 Japanese yen? Well, now Japanese yen is pretty cheap. So, definitely, you can buy it here if you love sake. All right, now let's go to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the main character at the Centria Airport. <laughs> Nazo no Tabibito Fu. Mysterious Traveler Fu. Oh my goodness, last year there was no one playing piano. But now, yep, we have a pianist. <laughs> Love to see that. Yep, finally people start traveling. So now we are at the food street. Last year when I visit here, there were really few people, but now so many people. Let's find a place to eat. All right, today let's eat something special. Hitsumabushi? Nagoya's special food. We have a seat next to the window. 
We can see the airplane too. Loving it. Oh my goodness, look at the seat. We have tatami. Nice. So, this is the menu items. The price is about 4,000 to 5,000 Japanese yen, I guess. Yep. That's a fresh water ale. Usually, it's pretty expensive in Japan. So, it's Hitsumabushi. Usually, it's pretty big. So, if you don't eat a lot, I don't think you can finish it. Today, since I want to eat dessert too, why don't we order this mini one? I believe this one should be enough. Let's do it. Also, let's order this one too. Alright, here we go. Arrived. So this time I ordered the mini one, but let's see how small it is. Oh! <laughs> Actually, it's a good amount. Well, the big one is really big. But the mini one, hmm, good size. Let's eat. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Oh, as you realize, this time I'm not alone. I was invited to Tube area. Thank you so much for inviting me here. <laughs> Alright, so let's eat it. This is what we have here. It's Hitsumabushi, freshwater eel, and also that's a uh, chawamushi. And uh, I changed it to the miso soup this time, so we have a miso soup. Smells pretty good. Eh? So speaking of Hitsumabushi, there is some special way to eat it. It's a little bit complicated, but uh, there's an explanation paper in Japanese and English so that you can know. <laughs> and uh, I can know too. <laughs> anyway, let's eat! So the first we uh, divide by three. Step number one. Eat it directly so that you can enjoy the fresh water oil itself. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Outside it's crispy, inside it's soft. And the perfect with eel sauce. Loving it. And the first round, it's already gone. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I didn't know that, but the mini one is a mini. <laughs> if you want to enjoy the unagi, probably uh, you can order the regular one too. But yeah, I remember the regular one was pretty big. I want to keep the stomach for the dessert too, so I think I made a right decision. Anyway, so step number two. So step number two, place the green onion this time. And chisel leaves. And eat. Itadakimasu. <laughs> I totally forgot to press the seaweed. Yep. Now it looks even better. Hmm. Taste of flavor. Perfectly matches with unagi. So the third round, just place the green onion in the shiso leaves. And place the dashi soup. And now it became like this. It's ochazuke style. I love eating this with wasabi. Mm. Psycho. Yep, if you're a Parisian wasabi, definitely you will love it. Also, this set comes with the chawanmushi. It's like a dashi based pudding, a really traditional Japanese food. If you haven't, definitely you gotta try it if you visit Japan. Mm. Loving it. Inside it, there's shrimp and the fish cake. Mm. And the last. Egg with fresh water you. On top, there's a radish. Well, this one must be good. I can tell before I eat. Itadakimasu. Mm. The egg is really soft. Perfectly matches with fresh water wheel with dashi flavor. Loving it. <laughs> oh, that was a good meal. Now it's time to walk. Let's go to Tokoname.
Next place. Oh, there is Uniqlo too. Oh, wait. That's my favorite song. <laughs> I'm having piano over here. Handling Speaking of tube area, recently it gets really cold. There is a Uniqlo in the airport. Because Japanese yen is pretty cheap right now, you can buy it with a really cheap price. Yep, those 3,000 Japanese yen stuff, you can buy it with almost 20 US. That's a good deal. Look at this jacket. Price is 6,990 Japanese yen, which is about 48 US dollars. Uh, I think in the States, it must be $30 more expensive, so... Maybe if you want to buy the heavy jacket, uh, just come over to Japan and buy it, it would be cheaper. Because you can just buy it at the airport. Oh my goodness, look at this. It looks pretty good. Uh, before leaving here, let's get something sweet. All right, here we go. We got the orange and the strawberry. So this is something special over here. We have a line to cut. It's my first time to cut it, so I'm not sure if I can do it well or not, but let me try. Let's do it. <laughs> kind of nervous, but it shouldn't be that hard. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh! Sweet! <laughs> Laminate! Mm. 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 You know, the mochi is not that sweet, but inside the orange, it's really sweet. Very interesting. We have strawberry too. This one is smaller, so I'm not sure I can cut it well or not, but let's do it. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally different compared to the other place. I can tell it's strawberries. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I can cut it well this time too. It's smaller, so not sure. Oh, sweet! Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful. Itadakimasu. Mm. Saigo. Compared to the orange, strawberries one inside really sour and the outside really sweet. Yep, always perfectly matches with the sour strawberry with mochi. Well, if you love mochi, definitely you get come over here. Loving it. What is this? Loving it. So our next destination is Tokoname. So let's go. So now we arrive to Tokoname. This place is popular for pottery. Yakimono Sampomichi. So let's explore. <laughs> so many pottery Bekonin cat. Oh, interesting. Those cat has a meaning. This cat is recovery from illness. And the heck, guardian and the commemoration. Protecting from accident. Wow. Oh. That's something artistic. <laughs> Superman cat. Sound of health. It's the mascot of the Tokoname Tokonyang. <laughs> Cute. Oh, really traditional street. Unfortunately, it was raining this day. There are so many manekineko and the cute potteries everywhere in the town. The sound of rain perfectly matches with this town's atmosphere. Even if it was raining, I could enjoy traditional Japanese sceneries. 
Wow. That's artistic. Oh, that's a pottery museum. Let's check inside. So this is the real kiln, which is used until 1982. Ooh, it was rainy outside. Finally, I can sit down here. We can learn about pottery over here. Uh, there is a display. It's my first time to learn about the pottery. Interesting. Let's go to upstairs. In the second floor, you can see many different kinds of art and if you like it, you can actually buy it. Oh my goodness, look at this mug. It's so detailed. Let me see how much does it cost. 3,520 Japanese yen. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, look at this. Looks so cute. Chopstick rest. How much does it cost? Oh, 1350 Japanese yen. Sweet. Many different kinds of animals. So cute. Oh my goodness, look at those chimneys. <laughs> Feels like I'm in the anime world. So now came back to the hotel. My dinner tonight is a Kinshachi IPA and also <laughs> Spring Blow. <laughs> oh no! There is no chopsticks! It's okay. Just eat it by hand. All right, let's make kanpai. Sweet. Kanpai. Ah, Saiko. It has nice bitterness. Love it. Itadakimasu. Menchouji. It's salmon, but inside there is a cream cheese. Love it. Speaking of tokoname, unfortunately it was raining. However, if it's in the sunny day, I think it's a perfect place to take a walk. Really interesting place. Mm. It's shrimp. The best part of Tokoname is it's right next to the airport. So if you have an extra half a day, maybe you can visit there. Mm. Oh, there is another dressing too. Orange creamy dressing. I tried it with this meat one. Well, I see. I think that's a dressing for the veggie. Hmm, I think so. <laughs> in the next video, we are heading to Hida in Gifu Prefecture by the train. We will attend the big historical festival in Hida and we will enjoy the Hida beef. It must be really fun. I have to wake up really early morning tomorrow though. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and please look forward to the next one. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can find my channel much easier. So see you in the next video. Say no gal. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Ah, you know what? This morning, I woke up really early morning and I'm really sleepy already. So I think I can sleep pretty well. <laughs> Good night.